Oh. Oh man, I'm so dizzy. I've been putting this video off for quite a while just because I don't really know how to do it. And it makes me a little nervous as well. So I guess here it goes. I have dyslexia. Now, all this means is I have difficulty in learning to read or interpret words, letters or other symbols. But this doesn't mean I'm stupid. I'm basically just one of those people that take longer to read or write or interpret something. But that gives me some advantages as well. I learn better when I see and hear things, so sometimes I can remember more than the average person. At least that's what I've found. That is assuming that I saw and heard whatever I'm learning. I guess that's why the video slash filmmaking world appealed to me. So it runs in the family. And I don't know if you inherit it or if it's just a plague that follows your family everywhere. But yeah, reading is sort of that necessary evil for me. I own my own business and so I kind of have to do my reading and writing. I don't mind writing. Writing's not too bad. but. Reading, I, I'm just slow. So I've had to figure out ways to improve my reading skills and uh, also speed my uh, consumption as well in regards to literature and things like that. So a lot of times I've had to use audiobooks and software to read out whatever's on the screen. I used to do that. I haven't done that recently in the last probably two or three years now because uh, I've put in the practice to learn to read faster. Although I still do use audiobooks like Audible. There's a bunch of great resources on there and I just love listening to books rather than reading them. I do know that I need to read to continue to stretch that muscle, but I also love to listen to it as well, especially if I'm working or maybe driving. I do a lot of that, so listening to an audiobook really helps. So what does running a business look like with dyslexia? Well, it's a challenge. <laughs> in the beginning, knowing that I had a disadvantage in life, I didn't want to work at it. I just wanted to go and have fun. Like when I grew up on the farm in Zimbabwe, I just wanted to go out and have fun, maybe play video games as well, but mostly just go out and climb the rocks, have some fun, go mess around. And I did that, but I also had to do some school, some educated learning. So. I was homeschooled and that gave me the benefits of learning specific interests that I had and kind of pursue those. So filmmaking and editing visual effects, that's kind of what I started out way back. I was probably about 13 when I was first interested in filmmaking where we started out being just goofballs with my friends making funny videos. We had to rely a lot on the comedy side of things because I wasn't a good editor and we didn't know any of the visual effects. We started out with Windows Movie Maker. So yeah, but uh, once I continued to pursue my career when we moved to America, I started getting a lot more serious about it, but at the same time realized the kind of industry that I was getting into. Uh, it's a tough one. And uh, being able to read and write is very necessary when owning your own business, let alone being in the filmmaking industry. So I had to improve those aspects of my education if I was going to be successful. So a lot of time I found myself putting in twice as much as the average person. Uh, speaking in general, of course, there are probably a lot of the people who like to put in the work as they can or maybe they have to put in the work and I found myself being one of those people but even though I had dyslexia I didn't kind of label myself as a person who had dyslexia I just dealt with it didn't really make it a big deal and even though it was but I really struggled with reading but once I started to probably three four, four years ago wow it's been a while four years ago uh, I really went into kind of a gap year program. It was almost a college environment and I really had to learn very fast how to read fast enough to be able to keep up with the class. A lot of the times I would be in front of the class reading a passage or some paragraph and I, to be honest, that scared the Having to read 
in front of a whole class was freaking scary. Uh, sweat started to drip from my head and my armpits. And by the end of the paragraph of reading, I smelt like a pig. <laughs> okay, it probably wasn't that bad, but it certainly felt like that. <laughs> But slowly, as I put myself into front of more people with reading, reading in groups, study groups, things like that, and also just reading out loud by myself, I slowly began to improve in my reading. And by now, my reading is 10 times better than it used to be. Still not perfect, obviously. I'm still going to be dyslexic for the rest of my life. But I've learned to deal with it, and I've learned to uh, find tricks to speed up my reading and writing process. Now, I enjoyed writing, so that was definitely a plus, enjoying having to write um, stories and scripts and things like that for my short films. It was a really great uh, learning experience and process for me to kind of improve my grammar skills, because I hated grammar. English is such a complicated language, even though it's my first language. I don't know why they make it so complicated. But yeah, that was a big aspect for me and writing films, short films, scripts and stories really helped me with that. And I'm glad I enjoyed it because if I didn't, I don't know if I'd be as good as I am now at writing. I don't even know if I'm good compared to everyone else's standards, but according to my standards, I've come a long way. And interestingly, my girlfriend's got dyslexia. Not as bad as me by any means, but it's interesting how it's just like, it won't let me go. Anyway, so I've learned to embrace it. This chair is really squeaking. Can you hear that? Anyways, I've learned to embrace it. And um, to be honest, it's part of me. It's made me who I am. And I wouldn't, I mean, I guess I would throw it away if I could. <laughs> but it's made me who I am today. So if uh, if one day I can just say, hey, I don't want your dyslexia, go away. I, I would, because it's, uh, it makes things so annoying. But yeah, it comes with the territory, I guess. And uh, this today's video is going to be a little short and it's a little different. So uh, let me know if you guys are interested in more videos about me and kind of how I do things around my business and just life in general. Uh, maybe it'll help you kind of think more about your situation and it might give you a little bit of insight, whatever it is. Um, let me know down in the comments. Um, maybe be nice. <laughs> And uh, I will catch you next time, I guess. But until then, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.